what is going on today guys we have a sweet video um, I bought a lot of stuff to get closer to running and driving um, I mean there's still a little bit of things I got to do I got to build uh, brackets for the seats to bolt to to the floor um, guys help me out only 35% of y'all that watch this is subscribed so I need y'all to subscribe please um, Last video I said I was going to do something really cool with the propane tanks, so now I finally get to show you. I've never seen somebody do it, so I figured, why shouldn't I? It's a pretty good idea. Dude, look at these things. They're polished. Dude, this is so sick. <laughs> All right, guys. I understand there's going to be a lot of scratches. They're not brand new tanks. Look at those things, dude. All right, so now we got, I bought a GM one wire alternator. Um, I went ahead and got a Red Top Optima. <laughs> I wonder if I could just cut the, the floor out of here, the battery tray floor, and then weld this bracket to the battery tray and then just bolt it back up. That should do her, that would work, I think. I bought new hubs bearings, lug nuts. This caliper didn't get put on last video because of this issue. Um, I ordered new of those. Let's see. Here's the caliper nut installed. Got a brand new one. New bearings, new seals. Now we can go ahead and put this side back together. Um, I'm not gonna grind the calipers down. I bought, well actually my brother, they're in the back of the truck. My brother gave me a two inch wheel spacer. So I'm just gonna put those on the front for now until I can afford 17 inch bead box. So just so the Jeep will move on its own, we're gonna put wheel spacers on it. Here's the old, this old trusty right here, dude. When in doubt, one wired, one wire her out. Right there, dude. So we get that mounted on there. I never mounted the power steering pump like I said I was gonna do. It's still there. That'll be easy, that will throw right on. Let's hop into this, dude, I'm ready. All right, so we're gonna do the hub first. Let's attack this big project first. I gotta take that locking hub over to the parts washer and we'll get it cleaned up for whenever we go to stick it back all together. All right guys, so first things first, I need to pack the bearings before I put them into the hub. So let's get to packing. guys I've put 300 miles on my truck today just going back and forth to the park store the park store is only a mile away I am never and I quote I am never buying someone else someone else's junk ever again if I didn't put the axles under the thing I ain't buying it no more I will buy my own stuff and build my own stuff for now on I'm absolutely sick of this So, my problem was, is I ordered inner and outer bearings. Um, we come back, the outer bearing only, will only go to here, honestly, will only fit here. So I go back to the parts store. They tell me the inner and outer is the same exact bearing. I'm like, okay, 
I already have two of those. So I come back, my inner bearing only slides to here when it needs to slide to here. And the biggest problem is, is there's that hump right there. See where it steps up? And I can't get back there. So now, cool guy at the parts store, I told him I'm about to burn the Jeep to the ground. He's like, here, just take this bearing, see if it works. If it works, come back and pay for it. And I'm like, you know what? That helps. If I got to do another transaction, dude, um, I told him, I said, all I got to do is get this tire back on so I can roll it down the damn hill. All right, guys, this is the old one I took out. As you can see, it took a little bit to get out, but this is what it's supposed to look like. And for once, for once, this is correct size and everything. So now we just have to beat this in there without getting those to fall out. <laughs> What if you put a little bit of grease on the end? Grease will make it not one really good. Dude, let's just, I'm just curious. It honestly don't look too terrible. Not, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now let's just hope it'll go back in. There we are. Okay, well that's good news. So, it literally tapped right in really easily. So, I think we're looking forward, not back no more, guys. Let me get this. So, we just have to figure out. Right. It's the wrong lug pattern. Or do I have it on the inside out? Oh. Damn it. Dude, we could relocate these, dude. We could put calipers on the bottom. Issue. So let's assess it before we just make it worse. Alright, so I believe this goes on here. I clean this up. I'm going to grease it. Too much grease is not as bad as not enough grease. Alright guys, so now that I lubed everything, I made sure that seal's all the way on. That seems to sit a little better, I think. I think it's just got dirt in there. I'll just tighten it down. See how it split? But I think it's just the dirt on this. So it should just tighten down. So now we can put this back on. I'm gonna say it's that one. Yeah. All right. We can go to oh dude i'm so sick of this jeep one thing after another what is it i just put this bracket on upside down oh my god we'll be right back with you what is wrong with me so we got it put back on this was upside down so i took it back off put it on right Put these back on, tighten them up. Ryan, using your eyes, what did I forget? <clears throat> Dude, what is wrong with me? You need to slow down. Some, I don't know what it is. It's 
because it's my own stuff. All right, guys, so we had to cut that clip. You're probably not gonna believe this. So we got a gate that people try to come through all the time and just think that they can drive on private property. Um, so we were sitting here doing this and I finally, it's all together, it's ready. So we heard music playing, we're like, what is that? So we walk out there, there's a guy butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Ryan says, hey man, you need some help? <laughs> That's messed up, like <laughs> You literally said that. <laughs> Alright, back to work, back to work. Alright, now it's ready to go on. Now we put the bearings on, put the hub on, put the lock and hub on, put the caliper on. Then we might be able to do brakes next. I'm going to try and flush out all these lines. Maybe get the calipers on, get them... I might have to put two two inch wheel spacers in the front. Um, I really don't want to sit here and grind down a brand new caliper so that the 15s will fit. I don't have 17s right now, so I'm thinking I'm just going to put two inch wheel spacers on the front. I'm not going to be driving down Mount Everest, so we should be fine. Yeah. Right. Almost just stuck my beard in it. It's cherry flavor. If you look right here on top, you can see where it's squeezing the grease through those little bearings. And then you do that all the way around. It takes time, but it's at least you know it's actually done correctly and not just a bearing covered in grease. All right, guys, so somehow I perfectly greased it with just the amount of grease that Ryan put on here. So now we can cover it. Now that we know every bearing inside has grease in it, we can go ahead and cover it. Now we can go ahead and slip her on and remove this too. All right. Now we can. Oh, she got a little too much grease in her, huh? Boom. Um, this one's already been done. I already did it. But I never actually checked if it does. Did I check it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now. We got bearings on here. I think we're looking pretty damn good. Looks good to me. All right guys, so 350 times at the parts store, we finally figured out the entire issue. So I was gonna go ahead and just change the whole hub, the rotor, studs, everything. Um, I called up there and I ordered everything for a 1980 K30 four wheel drive, which this axle is that year range. It's passenger side, so it's Chevy. So everything was correct as to what I said. Um, and every time I was trying to get the bearings for it, they were way too small. They wouldn't fit over the spindle or they wouldn't fit into the, in the, into the hub. So I was down there for, we've been there what? 30, 40 minutes. About to spend as much as money as you paid for the Jeep in bearings. Yes. So I finally figured out the issue. I had him go back to a K30 and look up the hub. It's weird. O'Reilly's doesn't sell the whole hub for a K30. So I'm like, how do I have y'all's hubs for a K30? And it's a different guy, so I'm not yelling at him, you know. Um, he said those are K20 hubs, and I'm like, shut up i said go get me the bearings for a 30 and let's see if it fits or actually go get the bearings for the k20 and let's see if it fits in this hub if it fits in this hub then i have the wrong hubs this is the whole issue he went and got the bearing and it slid right out i'm like you got to be kidding me so i can t i can still technically put this together i'll just have to use the old hub which that hub's not bad i was just thinking go new not have to worry about stuff but whatever, you know, I'll save a couple hundred bucks because now I don't have to do it. But I have the bearings here already. I'm just, I gotta go through. I don't think I have one with a race, which is the other issue. So I gotta see if they have the race because I'm just gonna 
put new races and bearings in that hub. And then we can put it back on, dude. We're getting so close. It's really frustrating, but I guess that's what happens when you try to do this. So let's go back to the park store and return all this stuff and get the correct stuff. All right, guys, we're back. And we're not going to have any mess ups, right, Ryan? Hopefully. I think it's you that really screws me up, I think. Oh, shoot, I'll go home. You're just so dumb, it just it oh, rubs buddy. off on me. All I right. bet I could have this thing put so, together. You think so? Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to get this. Imagine. Can't be that easy, right? Or can it? Then, don't forget to put this on upside down, Mike. Boom. You almost forgot something, Ryan. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. That, there it is. So we're quarter of the way done. All right, now that that's done, we need to parts wash that, beat the races out, put new ones in. All right, guys, these races are pretty messed up. The moment we've all been waiting for. Got race in, bearing, and seal. Now we just get the slider on there, throw the outside bearing in. I hope. So, let's get her going. All right, guys, so I tightened the first nut that goes on as literally as, as tight as I could get it. It was probably 150, 200 foot pounds. But it still spins. They say tighten it as tight as possible so that it doesn't fall off. So that's how tight it is. All right, guys, so I spent a couple days trying to get that to go on here because the, the ones that I bought that were new were for a K20, not a K30. Um, the threads are messed up. I I tried to fix them. I spent a lot of time trying to fix them. I couldn't get them to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and order a new spindle before I throw this back together. So this is on hold right now. So hub can't go on. Bearings can't go on. Caliper can't go on. So scratch that. I'm skipping to the next thing. And I'm going to go ahead and yank this old alternator off and put a GM one wire on and let's hope that goes well and then we can get the battery I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbolt this battery box this tray and I'm probably gonna cut the floor out of it and then I'm gonna weld it to the new battery bracket this one here and then I got a red top Optima which will go inside of it so that we can use this bracket so I'm assessing the situation, make sure this is the same as this. And for once, they look like they mount up perfectly the same and everything. I'm just checking so that I don't run into the same problem like I had here and had to go to the parts store 700 times. So now let's get these swapped out and then put the belt back on, tighten her up. Alternator will be done. Then we can work on battery. Wow. That went on with a GIF. We should do that more often. Now let's get the battery box tray off. There we go. We got it out. So it's got it's got two mounts on the bottom. So I might just leave the tray in there and weld it to that tray. So they mount here. That'll give it stabilization from the firewall so it's not just bouncing off the firewall. It'll actually have more mounting. So I think I'm just gonna weld it to that. So that's what we're looking at. There we go. Now we can put a battery there, put the cover on, and I just thought of something else. So the light switch that I have, the little display thing, it's got a fuse panel. I could probably mount on top of the little bracket that goes here. That way all my wires are right here and then they just run into the cab and go to whatever they need to. 
Let's get a battery in there. Ooh wee, look at that. Everything clears, boom. Nice and tight. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now I'm gonna get the display and see if we can set it up there. We'll set it right on top. If it will work, I'll weld little tabs or something and bolt it down. All right guys, so I took it, I took the battery tray back off. This is what I'm thinking. So this right here will be for this panel to mount to. That way I can still put the bolts to tighten the battery down. These will be here. And then all I have to do is run a negative and positive to the little, the two terminals that are on the front. And then everything else can go on the top terminals. So let me weld this here and then we'll put it back in. All right, guys, we got the stock bracket. We got the aftermarket battery tray. And then we got this little fuse panel. Boom. And it should all clear pretty good. Pretty sick contraption I made. Dude, that looks killer. It's on there, man. So now let's put the battery in, put the, put the cover on top, and see if bolts will clear the battery. That looks so good. Dang. W's in the chat, boys. Y'all can't criticize this, dude. This is sick. Boom. Everything. That looks good. That looks so sweet. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's video. Um, I got the alternator installed, battery, uh, polish tanks. The hub situation is going to have to wait. I have to order the part. Once it comes in, that'll probably be in the next one of these two videos coming up. Next video... We got all the oils, the fluids, trans filter, everything to get all the lubrications lubricated. Um, the seats. I need, I don't have sliders for the seats. I don't have rails. So I'm going to have to build something that the seats will mount straight to. I have a center console. I'm also going to try and kind of put the center, the, the shifter in the center console kind of make it look somewhat presentable i need a piece to cover the floor i got to get a new uh shifter cable we got the polished tanks on there that is sweet uh what else do i need radiator fans so i need a radiator fan but for back here i'm probably going to get like a dual that has kind of like a shroud and then one for the trans cooler up front and wiring guys i'm basically to the point i need help with someone to help me wire feed the wires um hook them all up so thank you for watching today's video if you haven't already leave a like subscribe comment down below guys